The Activision Blizzard King deal has finally closed after 21 long months, and after an endless barrage of drama, legal back and forth, and fear of the deal ultimately being blocked, we can now finally talk about what this deal has always been about, the games. ABK has mostly been known for being a Call of Duty, Blizzard Live Service, and Candy Crush centric company over the past decade. And while those games will ultimately still be major factors in the ABK equation, there have been multiple hints from Xbox and Activision higher ups that they want to expand the current offerings and bring back some games from the company's rich history. Activision Blizzard has multiple decades worth of games, many of which changed the industry or were just really good, and they deserve to return. Here are just a few of the series that we want to see come back under the Xbox banner. Guitar Hero Guitar Hero was a near instant cultural phenomenon when it released in 2005. The first entry is one of the most influential games of all time and made waves of the rhythm game genre. Featuring a controller in the shape of an actual guitar, players could mimic playing a variety of songs and repeatedly playing these tracks to aim for the highest scores. Later on in the series' lifetime, competition from games like Rock Band would force the series to add a physical drum set and microphone. The Guitar Hero series had a relatively short lived run, however as sales began to seriously dip just a few years after the popularity peaked. In most instances, it'd be pretty simple to say the series had its moment and it'd be best just to leave it in the past. But comments from Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick suggest that a revival of the series may be in the works. And to be honest, it might be a good idea after such a long hiatus. The logistics of selling expensive peripherals may be a challenge in this day and age, but a modernized Guitar Hero series in the live service golden times could prove to be a massive hit for Xbox. Prototype Prototype is one of the lesser known franchises under the Activision banner, but this series, which only released two games in a three year span from 2009 2012, could be Xbox's own homegrown solution to the superhero game genre. Prototype is a third person action adventure series featuring a character with several powers, including the ability to shapeshift and turn your body into a weapon. It's the ultimate power fantasy game, and a new entry in the series would be pretty welcome, as the third person open world genre is more popular than it's ever been. This game, like many others in the Activision Blizzard catalog, feel like they'd be dead for good pre-Microsoft acquisition. But the possibility of a return now feels a lot more likely than it did before. And hey, a glimpse of prototype was even featured in the ABK and Xbox hype video which was released when the deal was closed. Would they include the series in that video if it was truly dead? Well, maybe. But we should hope that the tease was a sign of things to come. StarCraft this one feels like a no-brainer, so much that we'd even bet it's going to happen sooner rather than later. StarCraft is one of the most successful and globe-spanning real-time strategy games of all time and is in dire need of a follow-up to StarCraft 2. The series had enjoyed immense popularity all over the world, but none more so than in regions like South Korea. The game would be a massive hit for PC, a welcome addition to console, and a boon for Xbox's want to grow PC Game Pass. Tony Hawk this series isn't like the other ones on the list, mainly because there was a game released in 2020 in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. The game was incredibly well received, but the studio that made the game, Vicarious Visions, was absorbed into Blizzard and renamed Blizzard Albany to assist on various projects. Like many studios before, the newly named Albany was a victim of the need to support a small handful of Activision Blizzard franchises while everything else was shut down. Tony Hawk is a series that makes sense to return. It has brand recognition and provides a diversity in offering that Xbox is aiming for. Who could work on a new game in the series? Well, that's unclear for now, but with many things post-acquisition, it should become clear in time. Singularity Singularity is a criminally underrated sci-fi shooter developed by the incredibly talented Raven Software team. Xbox already has a plethora of shooters under their banner, but none quite like this one, which features a unique time manipulation mechanic. Raven is currently part of the Call of Duty machine and are an integral part of why that franchise has continued to churn out content. We really don't realistically see a path for Raven to completely come off of Call of Duty anytime soon, but could they make a much deserved sequel to Singularity with a second smaller team? We sure hope so. After all, that is the promise of Activision Blizzard joining Xbox. So those are some quick ones that we had. If you have an ABK franchise or game or series that deserves to come back under the Xbox banner, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.